Yeah. Now the relay coming up, uh, Sally, looking a little stern for the moment, concentrating, I'm sure, will run the anchor leg. So, David, it's all, all yours. Yes, it's going to be a big job, though. Don't want to build up the expectation too high because the French have brought in their Olympic of world champion who didn't run yesterday. And it, the woman who's just won the flat 400, Perek, didn't bother with the qualifying yesterday, but they could be a real problem. So, too, the Russians. Yes, the French have put uh, Landra, who ran their fourth uh, leg, onto the first leg. And she's a 51-second uh, runner. She's actually the French champion um, in the absence of Perec, I have to say that. So Sally will be somewhat pensive at this moment because it's a little bit more difficult. Gondrachenko, the uh, Russian uh, silver medalist in the 400 metres, she goes on the last leg too. So it's going to be gold and silver in the individual 400 metres against the gold medalist in the 400 metre hurdle. So a real battle. It really depends how the British team can go to set Sally up. What's fascinating about this clash between the two of them, and other countries of course may be involved, we've never really seen Sally Gunnell stretch at 400 metres flat. So it'll be very interesting. I hope that uh, she can be close enough, and uh, I'm quite sure that, on, uh, that Phyllis Smith will give everything to get her in contention. Uh, Phyllis will take the third leg, uh, but then if she gets half a, half a chance and is half close to Perrick, well, anything could happen. It'll be very interesting indeed. So, this an enthralling race in prospect. Polish team there getting ready. They qualified in uh, 3.32. Well, there's Perek, pacing, the world champion, the Olympic champion. Fourth in the 200 metres, incidentally, in the world championships last year uh, in Stuttgart. She's reverted back to 400 metres now, coached by John Smith, who has been helping John Regis and one or two others in uh, America. And uh, she's the only woman in the world uh, to have uh, broken under 50 seconds this season. The news is that uh, Privalova doesn't go for the Russian team, so that helps a little. Pravalova, she also has run under 50 seconds, not this season, but she's run under 50 seconds, and, uh, and of course, as winner of the 200 metres, would have been a real threat. There's the lineup then for the final of the women's 4x400 metres relay. Uh, Switzerland drawn on the inside, Finland in two, Germany in three, Russia in four, France in five, Great Britain in six, Poland in seven, and the Czech Republic on the outside in lane eight. Finnish team. And uh, with Protti on the end, the hurdler. The Germans quite strong. But the anchor, Rolander, Meissner, and Rucker. That's a good so solid side. And the Russians uh, in the next lane to them also very strong. Kuchilova, Andrieva. Zakharova and Gonjarenko, the silver medalist in the 400 metres. The European indoor champion over 400 metres takes the last leg. Well, the French, Landra, she took the last leg uh, yesterday in qualification to Dorsi, to Elien, to Perec. All four capable of sub-52 seconds. Well, Melanie Neve, the 3 age champion, ran a brilliant first leg in qualification. Her best is 52.10, but she's come of age much more mature now and knows what the team requires to give them a chance. Griswatch of uh, Poland, the lead-off for them, Warnicke, Paschut and Kalinska. A combination of 400 flat and 400 hurdlers, uh, their team. And right on the outside, the uh, Czech Republic, Kostovalova, the lead-off uh, runner, Venisova, Sukas Sugovska and Formanova, the four. So, Swiss, that's uh, Lika Ebi. They're drawn on the inside. That was the only team we didn't see. Protti, the anchor. Uh, Sally Gunnell, the fourth and final leg. Phyllis Smith behind her. She'll take the third leg. Phyllis... Uh, having won her first ever individual medal in these uh, European Championships. Linda Keogh, last season, over 800 metres. 50.9 out her best, but that was in 1991. 52.95 this season. 
to the final of the women's 4x400 meters relay. Switzerland, Finland, Germany, Russia, France, Great Britain, Poland, and the Czech Republic. And Costa Volova of the Czech Republic has gone off well, and so has Neef, and the French Landra. But Neef's uh, going well to 200 meters. It's a very big uh, stagger, this, because they stay in lanes for the first leg of the uh, second lap. And Neef has gone off very well indeed. The Russians going well and the French going well. The Germans also in contention. But Melanie Neef has gone off very quickly. It's a good run by the Briton if she can sustain it down the uh, straight, that's for sure. The Czech Republic on the outside. Neef of Great Britain, the French woman uh, closing down, Landa at the moment. And Landa is bringing the French back into contention. And the French leading Britain in second place, Germany in third, Russia in fourth, the Czech Republic in fifth, Switzerland in sixth, Finland in seventh. And now France lead. Now what can Linda Keo do? They'll break soon once they get to the far side, and here it comes, here comes the break. Great Britain in second place. France lead, Britain in second place. Russia, third, Germany, fourth, the Czech Republic, fifth, Switzerland, sixth, Poland, seventh, Finland, eighth. 51.6 for Neef, and that's a brilliant run. That's the split for the young Britain on the first leg, and the French now with Dorsil, and Linda Keo has to hang on here. The Russian and the Eva taking her, and Keo fading a little, and Phyllis... Smith, the one is a clash, and Phyllis almost got knocked over. France one, Russia two, Germany three, Britain four, Switzerland five. Ne Akio 52.3. So Smith now with some work to do down the back straight. Slowly but surely, the French leading at the moment. Elian, a best of 51.5, second in the French championships, diminutive figure. The Russian in second place is uh, Zakharova semi-finalist in the 400 meters and Phyllis Smith making a little bit of headway and the French are going to hand over to the world champion and now Phyllis Smith charging down the straight this is her strength and she's going to give Sally Gunnell a chance France one Russia two Germany three Britain four Gunnell takes the baton now and Britain in four but Gunnell in striking distance Perek is away, and France now, surely, unless anything goes very badly wrong with a gold medal. Smith, 50.6 on that third leg, brilliant run. And the Russian Gondrachenko, the silver medalist in the 400 meters, is in the uh, second place at the moment. The German, Rucker, in third, and Gunnell sitting there, hanging on. Rucker's 51.42 personal best, not as quick as Sally Gunnell. And Perek bringing France home to the gold medal. The Olympic champion, the world champion, the European champion. Anchors and Gunnell's coming wide. And Gunnell beginning to power now. Has she got the strength? And Sally Gunnell charging home. She's so strong. And it's going to be very tight. Russia, Germany and Britain just out of the medals. Just out of the medals. And Sally had just a little bit too much to do, but her time, 49.5 on the last 400 metres. And that was a brilliant run, but she just had just a little bit too much to do. The French quartet changed totally when they brought in the Olympic and world champion, Perec. Landre ran the first leg in qualification, they put her on the first. Dorsil, they put her on the second. Elian on the third, and that was the result. Well, Gondrachenko, the Russian, she was silver medalist in the flat uh, 400 metres. Being attacked here by Rucker, it was a good run by Rucker, the German, to hold on. Sally looked as though she was going to come past at one stage, but couldn't quite. So France get gold, Russia gets silver. And it looked at this stage as though Sally was going to go through. It was close. Now... The lunge just too early from Sally, just too early, and Germany do get the bronze. Majestic, tall, rangy, champion of the world. Perec, with such an advantage on the last leg, it was very, very easy. 
a very strong quartet 322.34 the time well outside the championship record but remember the East Germans the former East Germans have won this uh, event on every occasion except the first one in 1969 when it was won by a British quartet and it was a good British quartet too Rosemary Sterling, Pat Lowe, now Pat Cropper, Janet Simpson and Lillian Board that was the time the British won it the very first time it was contested in these championships since then the Germans and now the French well in a few minutes if you get a some writing material together, I'll be able to give you the method of entry for the next year's London Marathon, if you think of running it, and also a new British Federation scheme for youngsters. Now, the London Marathon will be run in April next year. The closing date for entry is September 30th. There'll be uh, entry forms and details at your nearest sports shop, and you can find out where the nearest sports shop is if you ring a special hotline on 0925 41 7744 give you that again 0925 41 7744 80,000 entered last year best of luck well now tomorrow the British Federation launches a scheme for youngsters between the ages of 8 and 15 who are hoping to uh, emulate their favourite track and field stars Star Trek provides a unique opportunity for children between 8 and 15 years old to take part in an athletics activity week in a fun environment. Star Trek weeks are being held all over the country, starting on Monday and going on for some time. Starting on Monday, that is tomorrow, the 15th of August. Parents and children can ring the Star Trek hotline number on 021-446-5000. 426 5000 the hotline numbers will be open tomorrow from 9 a.m. There are about six lines on that number. So let's bring you up to date uh, shortly with the result of that uh, 4 by 400 meter relay.